Yo, welcome back, welcome back. We are back at it again. This time we have some more gallery diamond select toys dioramas, y'all. So we are gonna be opening two more statues that we're gonna put into the case that we did before. I'll show you what it looks like after we uh, get it all done. Yo, thanks for stopping by. Let's get to it. Okay, here we are, y'all. So, as you guys know by now, I am a huge X-Men fan. So we got ourselves a beast. So we're gonna be opening that one first. And then from Box Lunch, I bought this one at the comic book store, Diamonds. It's at uh, Lost World of Wonders in Milwaukee on the south side. Uh, but Diamond Select Toys, we got gallery dioramas. And then this Spider-Man I actually bought on Box Lunch um, over the week. They had some cool uh, discounts, so I took advantage of them. We got a bunch of Spider-Man ones coming in the mail. So super excited about that. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump right in, y'all. Let's get these open. So we are going to start with the Beast. So let's get Beast open. We will slide these down. Make sure there's no other. Yeah, looks like that's the only one on this one. Get the tape. Oh, doesn't look like it has tape. It's just pushed in. Unless it's on the top. No? Oh, yeah, it does on the corner. Haha, <laughs> my bad. There is tape on here, guys. It's just up here. There we go. There we go. All right. So, we have Beast. So the statue itself has some weight to it. The base is hollow, so it feels really weak. However, it's really sturdy. It feels sturdy. But dude, this beast is amazing. The detail on it, the fur, really well sculpted. This calf has more like, it's all textured. So like it's it feels textured. It's not just drawn on there, so that's awesome. Got beast doing beast things upside down. So let's show you what he looks like up close. Really cool looking sculpt. This one's awesome. So I'm gonna try to work on getting way more X-Men. We'll move this here and try to show you the back of the box for a second. So we have Beast, the uncanny X-Men. Henry Hank McCoy was born a mutant and showed the signs of being different from birth with his unusually large hands and feet. As a youth, Hank's freakish appearance was the subject of much ridicule from his classmates, earning him the nickname of Beast. In his senior year, Hank's superhuman agility and athletic prowess earned him recognition as a star football player. And Hank was invited by Professor Charles Xavier to join the team of teenage mutant heroes, the X-Men, and enroll in his Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. During one of his experiments, Hank discovered the hormonal extract that causes genetic mutation and underwent radical physical changes that enhanced his agility and strength, as well as causing him to grow fangs, pointed ears, and fur all over his body. He has been a member of the Avengers and the Defenders, but he will always return to the X-Men. This is designed by Caesar and sculpted by Sam Greenwall. The sculpt is pretty cool, y'all. Really nice sculpt. Bring them back into the frame. Again, looks super cool. Another great addition to the collection that has just been started. This camera shaking is annoying me. All right, y'all, so we're gonna leave him over here. All right, next up we have Spider-Man on a lamppost. This sculpt 
looked incredible on the pictures and it doesn't seem to be disappointing so we'll start backwards here and we will start reading the back of the box because i know you guys love to hear me read once a shy science nerd peter parker's life was changed forever when the bite of a radioactive spider granted him amazing and that uh, rachnid like abilities after the tragic death of his beloved uncle ben peter realized that with great power there must also come great responsibility he has since devoted his life to protecting New York City and the citizens as the Amazing Spider-Man. This gallery diorama of Spider-Man is based on his appearance in Marvel Comics. It is made of high-quality PVC designed by Nelson Asensio, sculpted by Gene St. Jean. So that's what the sculpt's going to end up looking like. Let's get this bad boy open. This one does have tape on all sides. This one feels heavier than beef, but uh, not surprising since Beast's base was hollow. Okay. Let's get Spidey out of its cage. This is actually probably the best sculpt I have so far. This thing looks incredible. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at this thing. So he definitely is on a lamppost. But it looks awesome. The sculpt, the web. It's a grayish web, not really white. But the webs in general, like... He has a web dripping down here on the rock. You have pieces of cement. And what I assume is water or smoke. Maybe he's fighting like Mysterio or something. But the sculpt is legit amazing. Just look at this thing. A lot shorter than Beast, but it's because he's crouched down. And he's crouched down looking down. So he's definitely fighting somebody probably over here um but out of all of them i think this is my favorite one i think it's just because of the pose the dark phoenix one looks really cool but spider-man poses they just get me y'all incredible so that's two more for the collection we are going to move them into this case right here don't don't mind the mess with the other video stuff I haven't put away yet. But we're going to go ahead and put them into our case real quick here. And I guess I can just show you while I do it. All right. First up, we have Beast. We are going to put Beast, if he fits, oof, which he barely does. I'm going to put Beast back here. We'll probably put someone here eventually, which will be cool. And Spider-Man's going to go on the shelf with Iron Man as an Avenger for now because I think Spider-Man is going to end up having his own shelf. But for now, Spidey earns his spot on the Avenger shelf. Looking all kinds of cool. Let's take a look at them. Beast and Phoenix, Spider-Man and Iron Man. Let's go. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by yet again. I'm super into collecting these things now. So we have a shit ton of collectibles at this point. We're doing Pokemon cards. We're doing Funko Pops. We're doing Gallery Diamond Select Toys. Check out their link if you've never seen them before. I'm going to post it in the comments. I'll also post a link to Box Lunch as they sell them too. Your comic book stores will sell them for me. Favorite comic book store here is Lost World of Wonders. Um, collector's store, um, Cosmic Destroyer down in Shorewood has some cool stuff for collectibles and Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and all kinds of stuff like that. 
Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you hit that follow button, subscribe, yo. Let me know what you guys want to see, if you want to see anything, or if you have any of these. What's your favorite superhero, favorite Pokemon, whatever you want to talk about, let's chat. Otherwise, see you next time.